I'm Alor Tran with Asia Media Network, and today we're commemorating the 10th year anniversary of Dr. King Ho's passing. We are at the Saigon Center in Chandler, Arizona, so let's go check it out. Standing here with Kevin Dang, he's the president of the Vietnamese community in Arizona. Kevin, can you tell us a little bit of what's going on today? Well, our community gathered today in Chandler to remember the loss of a very valuable member of our community. That's uh, Dr. Ki Ngo. Um, although he had passed for 10 years, but his legacy um, always lived with us. And um, his legacy has also inspired many of the young people in our community to bring cohesiveness and unity to the community. And uh, Dr. Ki Ngo is a very generous individual. He had done a lot for our community and had contributed um, a magnificent number of um, uh, funds to help um, multiple community events. That's amazing. Thank you, Kevin. I'm here with Tan Mai. I know that you're a very close friend with Dr. Kingo, and you're also organizing this event for him. Can you speak a little bit more about that? Uh, thank you, Laura. Yes, uh, Kingo is a very dear friend of me and of everybody that who know him in the community. We love Dr. Kingo and everything that he have done for our community. Should a love it ngữ, should a uh, sponsor for all big and small event uh, for the community and uh, support uh, anything that he see is the help our community grow stronger and uniting. So his legacy will never forget. And for that, on his 10 uh, commemoration of his passing, we, um, I am um, organized that together with the uh, other organization and friends in the community to, uh, to show our respect and love for the man, Kingo, that who have done so much for our community. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Father Bulam San. Father, thank you for being here today. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. How are you? Wonderful. So, how um, can you tell us a little bit of what's going, what's uh, happening today in Cameroon? Have you, were, you, um, did you know Dr. Key? Yeah, yeah. Um, I I know him uh, for almost 20 years, and um, uh, dentist uh, uh, Kingo is very good uh, person, and uh, he's. Uh, number one person at Arizona. He humble and forgiveness and uh, uh, do the charity with the many people. He cannot uh, raise for who are Vietnamese, who are America, who are uh, Catholic, who are Buddhist. That's amazing. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Standing here 
started with V Lam. She's the second princess of this year, Miss Vietnam, Arizona. And she's also a student of Dr. Kingo. Can you tell us a little bit what, how, what he taught you and what he did for the community? It, it seems like he taught next to um, your school, right? So he actually contributed to building a Vietnamese learning language uh, facility where students were able to learn Vietnamese out of pocket and the only thing that was spent was purchasing a book. He supported this to help kids understand more about our culture and more about our language. And yeah, that's what he did and he did a lot for the community here in Arizona. Wow, that's incredible. Did you learn um, like much Vietnamese? What did you learn during his teaching? Yeah, I learned a lot from that class. So I learned how to read, I learned how to write, I learned about the culture and how to say formal and informal ways of speaking. And I learned most of my Viet from him. How lovely. Yeah, it seems like even after his passing, his legacy is, you know, continues. And his students, is, you know, so much that you can carry on from his teaching. That's incredible. Thank you. Dr. Kingo, can you tell us a little bit of a mem your memory of him? Well, we, we used to own the Seafood Gourmet, and he was our neighbor. And he visited us quite a bit and had dinner and everything. And I know just in the sense of uh, him having his dentist there, he was a very you know sweet gentleman that was very much in the helping of the community. And I do appreciate what he's done and I just, you know, just came to give the respect. I didn't realize it's been 10 years since this event happened, but time has passed, and I just hope everyone remember him for what he's done 10 years ago and helping the Vietnamese community. I'm here with Christine and V. They're here today for to commemorate the passing of Dr. King Ngo. Christine, you were also a student of his uh, Vietnamese language program. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yes, of course. So I did this about when I was nine or ten years old. Um, I believe I was in level one, or and then I did a little bit of level two. Um, I learned the basics, the alphabet, how to pronunciate, because my pronunciation was not very good at all. I suck bad. <laughs> But um, thanks to him, um, I got to learn more about my language. I love that. And V, you're this year Miss Vietnam. I know Dr. King O's foundation also is one of the donators of the um, Miss Vietnam. Can you talk a little bit about what your experience has been this year? It was busy for me since then, but it is my honor to represent our community, especially the young people as Miss Vietnam Arizona. Thank you for joining us today at the Saigon Center in Chandler, Arizona and commemorating the passing of Dr. Ki Ngo's 10th year anniversary and also his legacy that he left behind.